Hi, welcome to Mr. Techpathy Tutorials. This is part 9 of Linux device drivers. Today we are going to discuss about kernel symbol tables. In earlier tutorials we have already discussed about kernel symbol tables but we are going to discuss more on kernel symbol tables in this part. In this session we will learn four topics. First is about undefined symbol error and steps to solve it. The second one is, is it mandatory to export the symbols? The third one is location of symbol table. And fourth one is about system map file in Linux. Let's start with our first topic, undefined symbol error and how to solve it. The most common and most frustrating failure in loading kernel module is undefined symbol. The error looks like this. In smode error inserting hello world dot kvo colon minus one undefined symbol in the module. To debug this error, we need to use few steps. One is to use an nm utility to know the symbol table. The second one is to know more about symbol definitions. I'll be listing all the symbol definitions in the next slide. Let's say my module is hello.kvo. I will type nm hello world.kvo. This displays the symbol table of my hello world.kvo module. Here I am in my virtual box. I have opened a Linux terminal. In order to learn about kernel symbol tables practically, I'm using hello world module. I have this hello world.c source file here. Apart from our earlier code, I'm going to add this line extend int g underscore value. So declaring a variable as an extend so that we will not get the compilation errors. I'm going to print this g value. So all this module does is whenever you insmode this module, it tries to execute hello underscore init function and it will try to print hello world and the value of g underscore value. So now let's compile this using our make file, which we have already implemented here. This is the make file. So I'll try to execute make command. Now try to insmode your hello world.kvo. Hello world.kvo was already insmoded. That's the reason I tried to remove it by using rm mode. Now again, I'll try to insmode it. Hello world.kvo. As expected, we get this undefined symbol error. Now in order to debug, as I stated in my slides, first thing is we need to use the nm utility. Now let's clear this up and try nm hello world.kvo. This is the symbol table which contains the details of all symbols. First column is the address, type as the second column, and third is the symbol name. Since we have already used nm utility, next step is to know more about symbol types. Let's switch to the slide. These are the symbol types. As you can see, some of these types are a for absolute, B for uh, uninitialized data section as it goes by and you can find U for undefined as well. So the symbol type, you will say that the symbol is undefined. Let's see this practically. Now we know the symbol types. Now search for undefined symbol. So you can see U G underscore value. Though we though we have U and print K, we very well know that the print K will be resolved by the kernel since we have added the necessary header files. The only value which is undefined symbol is G underscore value. Now exporting this symbol, which is defined in another kernel module, may resolve the symbol. So what you need to do is you need to export g underscore value from another module which has already defined this. Or you can try to remove the extern type here. You can try to make this global and try to assign some value to this. Now let's say I'll again clean this up. I'll build this and I will try to ins mode level.kvo. As you can see, this has successfully moded my kernel module. I'll try D message and see if my module is since moded. Here you can see hello world g underscore value is zero. Our second topic is, is it mandatory to export the symbols? To answer this question, you can think of kernel symbols as being visible at three different levels in the kernel source code. The first one being static. Say if you define a symbol, with a static scope, this symbol is visible only within their own source file, just like standard user space programming. Say if you declare it as external symbol, then it potentially visible to any other code built into the kernel itself. Say if you declare it as an exported symbol, then it is visible and available to any loadable module. From the above statement, it is obvious that if you are writing a Linux kernel module, it is mandatory to export your module symbol if you want other modules to benefit using them. Our second topic is location of symbol table and how to find it. The symbol exported by the statically linked Linux kernel and all LinkedIn modules can be retrieved by reading the slash proc kl sims file or using a query underscore module system call. Take a look at slash proc kl sims entry. 
Every entry in this file represents an exported kernel symbol table which can be accessed by Linux kernel module. Now in order to check the kernel symbol table of the whole Linux which you are using, you can type proc k all symbols. This will be a huge list where it displays a big table which contains all the symbol tables present under your current running Linux. If you would like to get symbol table of a particular module or a kernel object, you can use nm command. You can type nm hello world.ko. Our final topic is about system.map file. Every kernel image that you build has a symbol table with it. The Linux kernel symbol table contains names and address of all the kernel symbols. In Linux, the system.map file is, is used by the kernel. Because the addresses may change from one build to the next, a new system.map is generated for each build of the kernel. The system.map is required when the address of a symbol name or the symbol name of an address is needed. It is typically useful for debugging kernel panics and kernel oops. After building the Linux kernel module, system.map is located in the root of the source directory. Try typing locate system.map command in the terminal and you will find the system.map file in your system. Let's see this practically. Here I am back in my terminal. So in order to locate system.map file, I'll type locate system.map. So as you can see, this is part of our kernel source here. This is the main map file which is built while building your kernel. If you try to open this, this is a huge list of, of all the symbols which contains its address type and symbol name. This is the Linux kernel symbol table which is generated while compiling your Linux source. Remember, Mr. TechPath Tutorials is all about inspiring others to learn and share their knowledge. Let's learn, share and make this world a better place to live. Thanks for watching Mr. TechPath Tutorials. If you like this video, please subscribe this channel for more videos. Also, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Thank you.